I would say, so it's anti-tobacco harm reduction through all these different methods. Um, it's also anti-innovation. So when e-cigarettes, uh, uh, vaping products, heated tobacco products come along, a realistic, sensible organisation that was driven by reducing health impacts would not like go on the defensive and say, oh, this is something we must stop, which is basically what they have done. You would ask the question, how do we exploit this to get the maximum health gain that we possibly can? Where are the wins for in, in the, is it, that we, we may need we may need some safeguards, but how do we exploit this technology to reduce that eight million persons a year death toll? Because that is definitely something that could be done with much lower risk products. So they just don't think that way. They haven't looked at the opportunity. They've only responded to a greatly inflated view of the risks. And that's a really serious problem.